Didn't need it this time. Yeah. What you doing, Martinis? What you doing, Martinis? Now, but she can't climb that. I have to, I have to pick her up every time to clean those. Oh, was, she just went right down. Okay with that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It itches. She's like, man, this is a good carpet. This is a good it carpet. It itches. <laughs> First morning at RTR camp here. Morning, Caroline. What you eating? Fried eggs and cheese. Mmm. They all have such different personalities. The babies? They're just so funny to watch. But they have one thing in common they love, and that's food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like all of them. What you got? What What you eating? Sure does smell good, Caroline. Well, you, I'm going to eat it all, but I'll certainly let you lick your plate. <laughs> you, because that just grosses people out on video. <laughs> so we have... Mike and Stephanie here from Van Life Sheldon's Travels. They got here to the RTR yesterday. Have a Wayward Wes. <laughs> Made it here with his 1990, 1989 Holiday Rambler or Luma Light. Come in with his dog Dixie. They've been traveling together. Uh, Wes is from Athens, Georgia, my hometown. And I did a, uh, a video on their little uh, Dodge Promaster about six or eight months ago. And they've been to RV base camp a couple times, so is, so is Wes. But uh, here's a link in the description to their uh, channel right here if you have a chance to take a look at it. We added a few things. We got a couple of boxes, a couple of lights. Amanda's not looking like anything like that to her, but check it out. <laughs> All right. Everybody check out their channel. Well, I left camp. Got to go and get my registration. And... Also, my stroller should be ready. While I'm out, I'm going to dump and get propane. Not that I'm terribly low. Handle everything while I'm out. A lot of people are bumping mirrors coming through here. I had this guy in a Subaru car pass me on the right yesterday as I was coming through here. Bunch of He was a fool. Shot me a bird as he went by. Of my first rude person. This this paved road coming in and out of uh, the RTR, RTR is so bad that you just you have to take the right away. At least I do. I'm gonna tear up my suspension. Gonna pull in here to uh, Rose RV Park. Five dollars water and dump. Go wrong with that. Well, I'm back to quartzite. Got my tanks dumped. Got full water. I've been telling everybody that roses was $5. It was $5 just for water. 10 to dump the tank, so it's 15 I misremem misremembered. Or I remembered wrong. But this lady's supposed to have this uh, dog stroller. Talk about an ordeal. I sure hope she has it ready for me. Well, finally, I've got a, a new dog stroller for the Wolf Pack. A little bit different design. If you guys re remember, my wheels were coming apart. But, uh, and then I was having to hold the brake up with a bungee cord. But this is the same model. So we're going to put some miles on this one. Now we can all exercise and... When I'm walking the babies, two are protected while one's on the ground. That'll work. So when you have to grab them, um, you just can pick up the one? Well, uh, two, two ride inside the stroller, yeah. and I have a, a leash where one walks beside it, and they've all been trained to walk beside the, uh, the, the stroller, so it works. Good for you. So 
All right, one last thing. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Finally, you can get these um, you know, on eBay or Amazon for about 70 shipped. I paid 99 for this one. Um, I don't have an address, but well, even though we did try to ship two of them, Eric tried to help me, but uh, they shipped the wrong one, and then one was damaged. So I gladly play, pay the extra. We have desperately needed this thing. Look everybody, I got us a brand new stroller. Brand spanking new. Now we can all go walk again. All right, man. It's about time. Okay, let's go. Let's go for a little walk. All right. Back the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, so I'm walking into the uh, the RV section over here at Quartzsite, and the lady. I I thought she said hey, but she might have said May May. But she <laughs> caught up with me. She says I don't know your name, but I know your dog's names. <laughs> What's your name, ma'am? Robin. Robin. and Robin. <laughs> so that's Baby May May's. And this is Martini. Martini. Yeah. Hi, baby. And this is Tucker. Hi, Tucker. You are a sweet boy. I love listening to you talk. <laughs> <laughs> I just found my voice. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling better. See, Robin, this is what I need covers for these things. Better, oh, better is a strong word. Yeah, dirt daubers. They're what? Dirt dauber covers. Yeah, yeah. Dauber covers. So I know what they're called. Yeah, that mess. Well, they're round. I have one, but I need one. So I'm over here at the uh, site uh, Big Tent Show, and they have RVs for sale. They have a couple small RVs here that I'm taking a look at. Unfortunately, they're playing music, and I can only run about 15 seconds of copyrighted music before my video stopped. But this is on a one-ton chassis. With the queen bed in the back corner. And of course, you know, we all should be happy with what we've got, and I'm very thankful and blessed that I have it. But uh, this is what I would like to have. And several different manufacturers make a very similar floor plan. But uh, I'd like to have the extra storage room up here. And I like the idea of having a dedicated queen back there. Of course, this makes a bed, but that's just really for children. I can't sleep in it. I like how the manufacturers are going to these really big, deep, single basin sinks. Can hardly use mine. It's so small. This list for 77, but most of these sell for around 55 or 56,000. This one's on a Ford one-ton chassis, and two, nine times out of ten, it would be a V10. It's in here. Got a mini Winnie right next to it. About the same size. Probably the same floor plan. I just think this is the perfect size to RV with. It's like the steps being built in to the floor as you come in. No more of those external steps that let out. Got the queen bed. Now I like that not having a window behind the your, your pillows. Nice setup. Just another take on the little bench here. I mean the little breakfast nook. That's pretty nice. No price. But uh, if I had the money or I wanted to do the, do the financing, this is about what I would buy. If you If you look, this is on the one we just looked at. Tremendous amount of storage underneath that queen bed. Back over to this Conquest. I just thought I'd show you the amount of storage underneath this queen bed. They've changed it up a little bit. Still good, good storage. I like the one that where it passes through to the back. It's not offered here. Down on this side. Huh. Y'all are such sweet babies. And patient and pretty and sweet. 
I'm the luckiest, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Yep. Got my precious babies. Got my precious babies. Okay. Time to trade everybody out. Put my baby Mamie on the ground. Now Tucker's riding. It just passed this little retro 18 footer. Isn't that neat? I thought I might walk inside this one too. Everybody says, oh, thank you for showing me the prices of everything. I like to know the prices of everything so I can stay on top of everything. Stay in the know. Prices are important to me. Nice, but not for me. But it does have style. Oh, I might try some homemade ice cream. Strawberry, butter pecan, chocolate cream, sugar cream and vanilla. Oh yeah. I got the roasted butter pecan and a small cone. Hey, maybe in a minute, Tuck. Dad used to have an engine like this. He collected John Deere's. This baby right here loves ice cream. Okay, top. Butter pecan. It's Felix's favorite. Hey, Felix. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, I'm back up here at the BT Cruiser, and I keep seeing this. I saw it when I came in. This van has a very neat little generator box on the back back here. Looks like he's got chairs and stuff on the above, on a custom rack. My guess. That's probably a little Honda 1000 or 2000. And then he's got his air conditioner and his propane tank built on the rack as well from Ohio. Plumbed in his uh, propane, he's got two different lines. One solar panel, King Dome. I don't know what that is. It must be some kind of cook stove maybe. Yep. That'll work. Oh, it sure is nice to have another stroller. It is nice. Okay, get on the other side, baby May Mays. So all that's left is, uh, I gotta fill it with propane. Kind of low. Uh, well, between a quarter and a half. I don't like to get this low. And then uh, get my permit and back to camp. Well, I went to the 76 station and got propane, 220 a gallon. One last thing. Saw a subscriber. She's trying to get to the RTR. That's her Class A. That's going to be turning right here. There she is. So she's going to follow me back down there. It's 
stop and get my uh, permit, we're done. I passed Rose's RV park. And now here's the beginning of the uh, BLM. Scrag and wash, scat and wash. You gotta pull up here to get your permits. Fella right here with a fifth wheel hitchhiker. Well, I stopped by the, uh, the place where you sign in to get your BLM permit, but the uh, host is off duty, so I'll have to come back another time. Okay, I'm going to end the little video right here. Thank you so much for tagging along with me today. Really enjoyed having you. But uh, I'm going to go set up, go to camp, fix some supper. Okay, appreciate each and every one of you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.